Hello, Fred Bruins here, uh, showing a biconical antenna that I put together over the weekend using eight wire coat hangers. These uh, are just your standard uh, wire coat hangers, have to be coated with white vinyl, but uh, the whole thing put together doesn't look too bad and really surprised me. I was skeptical. I didn't think it would uh, pull in a lot of signal, but uh, it increased the number of stations that I received and the quality of the signal that I received. Um, surprisingly, I, I was very impressed. The uh, coat hangers, I, I cut about here and here, uh, yielding a, uh, a leftover piece like this. and. Uh, that I'll save and use for, for repairs. I also cut off the, uh, the looped end and also a little bit of the wire that sticks up like that. At that point uh, it can become a little bit unstable because it, uh, it's very easy for it to unscrew. But uh, at least the, uh, the vinyl coating, uh, at that point all I had to do was just sort of peel it off and, and cut it off. It came off easily. So four wire coat hangers made the base four made the top. Uh, I put them together, the, the four coat, coat hangers for the bottom and then again for the top, with copper wire uh, using 24 gauge wire that's commonly used in crafts. I got mine at a department store, a little less than seven cents a, a foot. So it's pretty inexpensive. This is a four inch wooden block and you could drill a hole through uh, through the block, or I just happened to have some wood that uh, already had a uh, uh, a groove cut in it. Um, maybe they call that a rabbit. I don't know. And putting two of them together, it left me uh, a uh, basically a hollow piece, four inches long. It's important when you put it together, uh, reportedly, that the uh, uh, the two halves of the uh, antenna not actually touch. You don't want metal to metal contact there. And so I put some duct tape, or not duct tape, but uh, electrical tape in the middle to keep them separated. I also drilled a hole through the side, two of them actually, to uh, uh, provide a place for me to fish some copper wire out that had been wrapped around the antenna and uh, uh, from both the bottom and the top. And then I connected the copper wire to uh, two screws and washers, and that allowed me to hook up my ballon and my uh, uh, cable over to my computer, where I can watch television on the computer since I have uh, a tuner that allows me to do that. Anyway, it worked surprisingly well. Uh, I was really impressed with the quality. Uh, so you might want to give this a try. It's low cost. Uh, the Hangers were a dollar forty four, so you can see it was very inexpensive. Uh, and uh, the copper wire, about seven cents a foot, I only, really only used a few feet of that. Uh, if you uh, really have a kind of a, if it's too floppy when you first put these in your, uh, your hole or groove, uh, just wrap some e extra duct tape around the hole thing until you get a nice snug fit. You'll still be able to adjust these somewhat, which is good because you want them as evenly spaced as possible. Uh, on the other hand, they're not so uh, stiff that uh, you can't just actually fold the whole thing flat, and uh, which would be great if you had to move it, travel, whatever. Uh, it would still work. And uh, I like the fact that these uh, because they're, this is just part of the hanger that curved naturally, uh, you have this, uh, this curved look here and it makes it much safer. You're less likely to poke your eye out on something like this. So you may want to give it a try. It's worked very well for me. Couldn't be more pleased. Thanks for watching.